Hi, I'm Ksenia and welcome to Guiding Star Astrology. I'm your Astro Weather Girl here with this week's Astro Weather Report. I'm going to show you how the stars are going to affect your life this week. Well, hello, my dear friends in YouTube land. Welcome to this week's Astro Weather Report. I'm your Astro Weather Girl, Ksenia, wanting to empower you through the tool of astrology. Thanks for joining me. And this week, we are looking at the energies that are playing out from the 20th of November through to the 27th of November. And coming on the heels of the eclipse, astrologically and astronomically, this is rather a quiet week by comparison, but there's still a lot to talk about and I'm so excited to talk about what's unfolding with you today. So keep in mind as I do this reading that this is a personal read, looking at the passing energies and how they're going to affect you personally. This is not a mundane astrology reading. I'm not looking at the big collective experience that's going on right now, even though there's plenty to talk about there. But what we're living through right now, I've mentioned this a number of times recently, it's the result of the Saturn Uranus square we're coming up to the third hit of that in December so sit tight for that one um, Pluto being in Capricorn Eris Pluto square uh, and obviously the eclipses are now tying into things as well but these astronomical events are the cause of what is going on but what I'm going to be speaking to you about today actually is all about how the energies this week alone are going to be felt by you and how they will um, affect your life. Now I need to give everybody an update on my, the laser hair situation that I spoke about with regard to my daughter a few weeks ago. Uh, just so people know, uh, I have um, approached the company, I've written them a letter and left a review etc because I'm not one to sit on my backside and do nothing um, and the result has been that the company has contacted me and has said oh have taken a backflip, oh okay yes we will be happy to um, provide that service to your daughter because she's under 16 and she's not vaccinated and not required to be vaccinated so yes we will give that service to her so that's sort of a win but I feel that our laws because they change very rapidly at the moment and without justification um, I feel that that might alter in the future uh, if they bring in a requirement that it's mandatory for under 16 year olds to be injected um, I just want everyone to know that I won't let that situation and the financial loss that it would would incur to me pass without a fight because I'm a fighter <laughs> not in a nasty way but I do stick up for myself and I'll give you a bit of astrology 101 here if you have the sixth house lord in the sixth house and you come up against confronting situations in life and let me just say if you have the sixth house lord in the sixth house you will tend to come up with more confronting situations like this in life than other people might unfortunately um, but if you have this then you will always come out the winner in those situations if you go to court you will always win and I can vouch for that I've had to go to court far more times than I would have liked none would be preferable <laughs> but every time I win so it is strong and powerful to have the sixth house lord in the sixth house even though it means you often have to deal with these kinds of annoying situations on a frequent basis um, and this is especially true more astrology 101 if the planet involved happens to be in vedic astrology a malefic planet in my case it's the sun and that's considered to be a malefic planet in vedic astrology so vedic uh, sorry malefic planets are always very powerful for good in a malefic house so thumbs up for that so that's a little bit of astrology 101 and speaking of astrology 101 I have to share for the first time on the public forum that is YouTube um, about my Royal Stars Academy it's an astrology course that I have been preparing for quite some time now and I've still got a little bit of a way to go but the first level of the Royal Stars Academy is about to be launched next year uh, it's an, going to be an internationally certified astrology course with four levels an introductory level that's the level that will be being released next year an intermediate level an advanced level and a professional practice level so if you want to get certified in astrology then sign up to the wait list 
um, you know, you can go to my website, guidingstarastrology.com, and sign up to the waitlist to get first notification of the launch of this course and all the details, the syllabus, the all the information you're going to need. So head over to my landing page and there's a sign up um, piece there that you can get on the wait list or get on the mailing list to find out more about the Royal Stars Academy and its International Certified Astrology course. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to share more with you in the future. Mm, fun, fun. Okay, on with the astrology. The best day is this week. Um, remember, I'm in Australia and I'm using Australian Times. If you are in the US, as most of my viewers are, um, you might like to interpret what I'm sharing here as being a bit of a day behind um, what I'm talking about, particularly if you're on the West Coast of the US, you're usually a day behind what we are in Australia. So be conscious of the void, of course, moon. Um, and of course, an app like iLuna can help you determine if the moon is void, of course, in your part of the world. So check that out and avoid instigating anything under the void, of course, moon energy, because taking action when the moon is void, of course, will usually see nothing come of your endeavors. Maybe you don't want anything to come of it. Maybe you're just happy to just do what you need to do and, you know, not see anything unfold because of it. Then, of course, the void of course moon doesn't matter. But if you want success, if you want to see momentum, if you want change or whatever, then you, you need to um, be conscious of the void of course moon. So check out an app and that will help you with that. So the best days this week are, and we're using moon energy to determine this, are the 20th, the 21st, and the first half of the 22nd of November. These are good days to be looking at your future optimistically and to start making some plans, you know, thinking big picture, not small details, looking ahead at what you want to accomplish and getting a vision for things. Um, there, there could be, for some people, depending on your natal chart configuration, but for some people these days could be particularly lucky and blessed as well. It's a very high vibrational energy, optimistic, abundant positive so a good day for if you want to launch anything or begin anything that has a big range view to it a big picture view to it now venus is out of bounds all week we're going to be talking about out of bounds venus as a part of the all signs breakdown this week that's our focus but i just want to mention that all week this long venus is out of bounds and venus has been out of bounds since early october so uh, an out-of-bounds Venus works like the conjunction of a you know, Venus-Uranus. If you've got that in your natal chart, you'll know what that's like. And so we're going to be looking at this in just a minute to determine how it's going to affect each sign this week, having this out-of-bounds Venus. Um, the, uh, Venus is going to stay out-of-bounds until I think it's the 9th of December. So we've been in this zone of out-of-bounds Venus from October to December, and we haven't heard a lot about it. Um, in astro astrological circles, but it's actually very, very important. You'll understand why when I talk more about it shortly. Now, the moon is also going to be out of bounds this week from the 22nd to the 26th, so practically all week. And this can be somewhat crazy making. Um, an out of bounds moon tends to take our emotions to extremes, so don't be surprised to see that occurring in your life. But it can also, an out of bounds moon, for example, if you have it in your natal chart, it can actually contribute to making you famous. But the question is, what are you famous for? Are you famous because you're a serial killer? Or are you famous because you are a rock and roll diva? So you can see that the moon in out of bounds situation and we're talking out of bound out of bounds energy i'm not going to give you a big lecture on it but it's to do with declination um an out of bounds moon energy can be quite uh extreme uh, moon represents popularity with the masses and so here when the moon goes out of bounds uh or, or recognition by the masses it can obviously give that effect in um in a very heightened form so what might we see in the mundane world, in the ordinary everyday life? Well, we might see certain uh, unfoldings happen with the masses, with, with large groups of people, with, uh, you know, um, big movements of people perhaps happening. So that's just one idea. But, um, but yes, be prepared. 22nd to the 26th could be quite interesting because of this crazy making energy of the moon being out of bounds. 
But this week's energy focuses, there are a few things happening. I'll just touch on them briefly before we get into the all signs breakdown. On November the 21st, we've got Mercury squaring Jupiter. So Jupiter is down here at the end of Aquarius and Mercury is over here at the end of Scorpio, the last few degrees. Oops, there's a rather awkward 90 degree angle there um, and they're squaring one another now if you've got some planning to do this is a good energy to do it under um, don't be surprised though because it's a square it's a hard aspect if you tend to bite off more than you can chew with regard to plans and and um, and planning so it, it can be a tricky little square and uh, because it can I mean it's still a benefic square Jupiter is a benefic and when it's touching on Mercury it gives Mercury the energy of, of benefit as well Mercury is kind of a bit um, bit shady, <laughs> not in a bad way. It, it, it will kind of take on the energy of whatever it's with or whatever it's being touched by in terms of good or bad or malefic or benefic. So with Jupiter touching it, um, it it's not going to be a bad square, but it's a tricky square. I remember Mercury is like Hermes or um, Loki or any of those other mythological uh, beings <laughs> or gods that were the tricksters that's mercury so there's this energy of the trickster um, and so it's a tricky square and it can make us a little bit impractical a little bit over optimistic it can cause us to maybe even develop a dogmatic approach to our thinking and our thoughts and our interpretations of things our mental processes can become very dogmatic and that could rub other people the wrong way especially when we're talking about our beliefs or our ethics however it does give a positive mindset and it's a wonderful wonderful energy for absorbing um not absorbing diversity but exploring with curiosity all that is life so we need to just take the time to to absorb all the wonder of the world out there around us and not get too fixed in our mindset perhaps. Now on November this 22nd the sun is going to move out of Scorpio here into Sagittarius and it's time to shine Sagittarius. Happy birthday to my Sagittarian friends who will be experiencing their solar return in the next 30 days um, and it's also a period that marks the celebratory season for many of us. Now here in the southern hemisphere we're entering into summer um, in the northern hemisphere heading into that wintry time but it's still a celebratory season you know we've got Saturnalia, Christmas, um, solstice coming up um, within the next little while within this time frame so there might be a spotlight also with the sun in the sign of Sagittarius on your faith under this influence and your beliefs might sort of need to take a step out from behind the curtain you know um, to start to show up so don't be afraid to share your opinions once the sun moves into Sagittarius it'll come out you know your your opinions your beliefs your ethics your morals will come out with this playful good-natured energy of, of um, Sagittarius uh, just again Sagittarius is connected to dogma um, and an overinflated opinion of what we think we know so just be careful of that popping up and rearing its ugly head there's shadow and light in everything even a beautiful sign like Sagittarius has its dark side uh, so that can come up but for some uh, even with the sun moving into Sagittarius it could mean that that uh, travel might be on the cards and if you can't travel in person you might be at least traveling in your mind you know going on watching a documentary on Montenegro or Chile or somewhere else far far away from wherever you are um, but it's definitely time for a little adventure when the sun goes into Sagittarius and now uh, the other thing that's happening this week is on uh, November the 26th Mercury down here is going to make a conjunction here with Cato the south node of the moon and when Mercury connects with the point of our past karma and this is this is not your natal uh, Cato placement this is the current placement in the sky of or it's a mathematical point of Cato and the south node and so there is this conjunction of, of Mercury with the current position of Cato so it's a collective karma that we're looking at not necessarily your individual karma but when it does this um, we can expect that in the collective significant conversations are going to take place um, and these are the significant kinds of conversations that might release us all from old bonds old contracts old promises of long ago even you know lifetimes ago that things might be coming up for review and and excretion now because Cato the south node is to excrete 
He wants to release what is no longer required in our lives. So we might find ourselves dispelling old themes through Mercury mechanisms now. And Mercury has to do with contracts and, and written agreements. Um, anything that is written is, is very mercurial. Venus, as the ruler of Libra, might also have a bit to say about that sort of thing. But um, there, there is going to be a review and a getting rid of old contracts. And as somebody who is in Victoria, in Australia, I am celebrating this concept right now. Bring it on. It's time to get rid of some of the parliamentary agreements that have been put forward to create tyranny in this state. So fingers crossed. I mean, it's going to take more energy than, than just Mercury conjunct Cato, I think, to orchestrate that. But fingers crossed it might go in our favor, people. Now, we could feel a little bit disconnected under this influence, like our mind is a bit foggy. But that's okay. That's an energy that, that'll pass. It's just an energy that will float in and out like a mist. And the key is to know... Uh, you know, if you want to know how it might apply to you personally, look at what Mercury rules in your chart and realize that some of the themes of the houses that Mercury rules in your chart are going to disappear out of your life. For example, for me, Mercury is the ruler of my seventh house and fourth house, maybe themes of, of where I live, you know, and old connections to where I live might be dissolving now. Or, um, old themes regarding my my idea of what a relationship is or how a relationship should work might be dissolving and floating away now with the Cato Mercury influence. So know where Mercury or what Mercury rules in your chart and then you might get a bit of an idea of what might be being released and let go of karmically as well under um, the influence on the 26th of November. Now, we're going to move to our major topic for this week's Astro Weather Report, and we're looking at the Out of Bounds Venus. And Out of Bounds, uh, I mean, I'm going to do a big video on this in the, the, um, uh, in the Royal Stars Academy course, but Out of Bounds means that moving, you're moving beyond the declination of the celestial equator by roughly more than 23 degrees. Um, so the... Venus out of bounds influence has been in action since October the 9th. So what does this mean? Well, it kind of gives the energy of a Venus conjunct with Uranus. And that might look like bringing in unusual romantic relationships or romantic circumstances into a person's life. So what's been going on in your life since the 9th of October? Did I say the 9th of October? Yes, that's correct. And it will be that way till the 6th of December. So Maybe there's been some unusual romantic circumstance that's come into your life. Maybe you've taken some financial risks that have brought you a fortune or um, been a bit of a, like Uranus is a kind of an unexpected influence, a shocking influence. Maybe you took a risk and maybe it didn't pay off. But a financial risk is seen with Venus out of bounds. Um, the value of your assets in the positive might have gone through the roof. I mean, that's been the case for me. Um, and many people in rural, provincial Australia have found that their property prices have just skyrocketed. So that's one example. There are many other examples where certain assets and material possessions might have gone up in value in some way. So if you are somebody who works with Venusian things, if you work in the beauty industry, if you're a beautician or a hairdresser or a fashion designer, um, you might get some sudden changes that have occurred in your work life or your work circumstances, usually for the good, may not always be, but, but you know, Uranus and, um, and Venus can work very well together um, for the good, so it is possible. Um, there might be some cutting edge technological advances that you've brought to your uh, workplace if you are working in those fields again Venusian fields um, and you might use you know you might get an inspiration uh, to to suddenly start altering your appearance in a very forward-thinking manner in a trendy way in a stylish way that's perhaps ahead of its time um, so some people might be experiencing that combination of energies as well you might also get sudden downloads that's very Uranian to get sudden downloads of diplomacy of you know say you're a counselor and you're counseling a, a I don't know a couple or a, somebody who's been through trauma or something and you get a oh, goosebump moment I know how to deal with this I know how to direct this client to get the best outcome uh, or advise this client to get the best outcome so you can have these wonderful downloads regarding counseling um, guidance and diplomatic insights so 
and that can really help with relationship issues and it can really help with financial issues as well if you're a financial advisor you might also get a sudden download that can be of benefit to a client or even to yourself um, any business contacts that you make can I mean can bring you great new opportunities and they they likely any new business contacts that you've made during this period are likely to have stirred things up for the good and given you new opportunities and new ideas and um, similarly out of the blue sudden love affairs can come into your life now that can even occur if you're in a relationship and I'm not talking necessarily affairs what I'm talking about is you know you've been in a ho-hum relationship and la di da and whatever and then you 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 see your partner in a new light with a venus out of bounds energy you see your partner in a new light and suddenly your heart swells with love again for them remember everything is cyclical and we can go through um, periods of dryness with a relationship and then be reborn into uh, a period of fertility with relationship and so this could this out of bounds venus could trigger that in a relationship so sudden love for an existing partner or a new partner that might come out of nowhere uh, happy times with female friends Venus is the feminine energy so you might have good times fun times but usually doing something unusual and out of the ordinary something that you wouldn't usually do but in your socializing and you can even be quite brilliant genius like and break the mold a bit with regard to design art fashion uh, beauty makeup all of those Venus things anything to do with your appearance um, it, it can even be an energy because out of bounds in um, well, out of bounds planets can bring on fame as we've already discussed when we're talking about the moon so it could actually bring that if you work in Venusian fields you might find that you get famous for something that you do for work now that said not everybody is going to respond to that by this energy by becoming famous but some people might because of this influence and it will all depend how Venus is interacting in your chart and what it's touching what it's triggering while it's in its out-of-bounds motion also if you have an out-of-bounds Venus in your natal chart it could be activating you quite strongly as well so um, part of what we might experience is that maybe um, a very unusual female person comes into your life uh, and that could be that they come in as a friend, they could come in as a lover and they transform things and they change things and it electrifies your life, it shakes you out of a rut so that could be wonderful, it could revolutionize who you are and how you relate to other people. You can see it's quite a powerful influence this combination of energies, Venus out of bounds. It's also possible that you could fall in love with occult practices and this is especially true when Venus is out of bounds in Capricorn so it may actually be more noticeable that you've fallen in love with occult practices since Venus out of bounds Venus has moved into Capricorn just recently not during the time when the out of bounds Venus was in Sagittarius so this is because uh, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and Saturn and Venus, when they're in any kind of combination, positive combination, usually a conjunction, to be honest, um, but we, we might feel it to a certain level now as well, but um, Saturn-Venus combination together in conjunction often brings brilliant occultists, people who really know astrology, people who really can do um, energy healing or, or understand hidden mysteries, all those sorts of things, occultists. Uh, I have it in my chart but yes occultists usually have the conjunction of Venus and Saturn and of course just to go off on a tangent with Venus and Saturn Venus and Saturn is considered to be one of the most difficult combinations in Vedic astrology for a person to have so it's through those dark challenges that come with a Venus Saturn conjunction that we get and acquire and rise up into the occult knowledge um, so you know it's a price to pay for Venus Saturn but anyhow back to the out of bounds Venus you may get very interested in occult topics under this energy as I said um, 
You could be very magnetic to other people right now. Uh, and of course, that can bring in a level of attraction. You fall head over heels in love all of a sudden, which is very nice. Or your relationship progresses to a new level of love. Um, it can bring in many lovers when you've got an out of bounds Venus. Because out of bounds planets tend to go to an extreme. And in this case, we're talking about Venus, planet of love and relationships. So you might have extremes in relationship. You know, you've had Tumbleweed City for years. And then all of a sudden, you've got 10 lovers on the go. <laughs> or 10 interested parties and you're like whoa how did that happen well thank you out of bounds venus you can also get sudden windfalls with your finances potentially in the positive as well you might also like to address talking about money um, changing your investment strategies you know i advise you to get advice from a financial planner if that's what you're going to do but this is an energy of change and so a change in your investment strategies might be on the cards be careful that you don't compromise your nervous system through stressful relationships such as having 10 lovers on the go at once you know that might be highly stressful it would be to me <laughs> I don't think I didn't cope with one um, but that could be a very difficult energy and so you might stress out your nervous system um, relationship issues if you're fighting with your partner if you're breaking up with your partner honor your nervous system and what it needs to cope right now Money could also go up and down in the negative with the out of bounds Venus, big rises, big falls. Um, partners, relationship partners and business partners could act irrationally, could act out of character. They may hunger for freedom and sort of decide they're going to break free. So an out of bounds Venus can bring big changes in the life of your partner when they choose to go a completely different direction to where they've been heading prior. Um, it's an energy for some people who are inclined this way natally but to not be able to stick to the one person and they might break up with their partner or divorce it can bring in consistency in relationship cheating is a possibility with an out-of-bounds Venus as well but again it needs to there needs to be some indication of that being uh, possible in your natal chart um, and women, women might become very rebellious under an out-of-bounds Venus energy. There could be more fighty, more, more arguments, more breakups with women as friends as well as lovers and business partners and so on. Sort of that stop-start relationship energy that is very much the nature of Venus. And Uranus combination, which is the effect we get with an out-of-bounds Venus um, and of course you could attract unusual people who might disrupt your life so there's some of the energies the positive and the negative energies we might feel with Venus being out of the out of bounds now if you've noticed anything that fits those descriptions that's occurred in your life do you want to share about it in the comments below because for those of us who are into researching more about astral energies it's very interesting to read the comments and get a bit of an idea on what's going what, what effects the, these energies are giving so we're going to explore how an out of bounds Venus might have been ex uh, affecting everybody in the chart. Remember, it's active until the 9th of December, um, and it's going to also be heavily activated during Venus's transformation from the evening star to the morning star, which I'm going to talk about in an upcoming video. And when Venus changes its appearance in the sky from evening star to morning star, then that we know that Venus is actually doing its retrograde thing. Although sometimes it is going direct as well. But in this case, we're looking at the, the retrograde motion um, of Venus that's going to be occurring here in the sign of Capricorn. So what are we looking at for all signs? Strange relationship occurrences, very unexpected and very rapid relationship changes. Money changes, sudden windfalls, sudden losses. Women being unpredictable for better or for worse. Uh, discovery of new occult interests. Um, higher level insights and revelations coming uh, for some people and truths being revealed regarding women in your life, regarding money and materiality, relationships or your sensual side, the things that Venus rules. That's what we're going to be looking at. So let's hit it. And we're going to start with a sign ruled by um, Venus and start with Libra. Libra, rising sun or moon people. Venus out of bounds this week and until the 9th of December is going to be happening in the sign of Capricorn your fourth house and the house of this is the house of home property roots parents ancestors it's the house of your retirement years your feelings your domestic life how well you feel you belong how well you feel you connect with the world this is actually the strongest house for Venus in the Vedic system. So Libra and people enjoy this time of beauty and peace in your innermost world with an out of bounds Venus in 
Vedic astrology, the, the strongest house placement for Venus. Um, this is a time when you might fall in love with someone who comes from your home environment, Libra, or is it might, might even come from your past. And that would include past lives because this is a, the, the house of ancestry. So, you know, your, it can be your genetic ancestry, yes. Now, this is not the house of past lives. That's actually a 12th house thing. But you'll notice that they try in one another, which is interesting. But um, in this sense, we're looking at the energetic ancestry that you carry. You might fall in love with someone who carries a genetic connection or, or a, an energetic connection to who you are. Part of the same soul family group, that kind of thing. So that's one way it can... Uh, manifest um, but someone who, who's from your community or it might even be somebody you might suddenly fall in love with someone who it comes to your house you know the postman delivers you a parcel and it's like hello where you've been all my life so there is this desire to want to connect with someone who feels familiar to us in some way that's the main theme uh, for relationships that suddenly might come in with an out of bounds Venus wanting to connect with someone who feels like home who feels like yeah they're part of me and I'm part of them and we've known each other before those sorts of things now there could be a lot of love in your life right now um, for some Libran people uh, and and that could simply be from you know your pet dog who gives you lots more cuddles than usual as you sit on the couch watching modern family and eating your dinner you know there's a lot more love in your life in some manner especially in your domestic environment. So that could mean your children are more loving, your parents reach out and connect with you more than they usually would. Um, you know, all's right with the world sort of thing. Your domestic environment might have a, a strong feeling of beauty now, a strong sense of stability might be present. And if, if you want more stability, if you're feeling like your, your world has gone bonkers and you're lacking stability, then seek to beautify your domestic environment while Venus is in your fourth house. I've got a Libra moon and I've had the urge just overcome me in the last few days actually since Venus moved into Capricorn to start spring cleaning my house and tidying out my cupboards and um, and creating more space and removing clutter and making you know putting roses in the on the dining room table and things like that and this desire to beautify and organize Capricorn my home environment my domestic environment has been very strong since out of bounds venus went into the fourth house and when we do that and i've noticed this myself as well we create a stronger sense of stability prior to that my house wasn't messy but it was not as organized as i would like it to be and i felt completely riddled with anxiety and out of control and then in venus went into capricorn I started to clean up, I started to organize and beautify my life and suddenly I've been feeling more stable, more grounded in life, thankfully. So if you are a Libra person and you're feeling a bit out of control, beautify your home and domestic environment, clean it up in some way and you will feel so much better. Some people might get sudden and unexpected support from family members now as well. This can happen out of the blue. You didn't see it coming. You didn't think mum and dad gave two hoots and then they give you a ring and they offer to help or babysit or do whatever and this support is available from family members. Um, it's through family that you might even find that there could be an increase in your sense of personal value now. Now remember that a, a, an out of bounds Venus is polaric. It can go, you know, like a seesaw, one of either ways. So for some people, they're going to increase their sense of personal value because of their connection with family. Other people might decide they're never going to talk to their family again because they feel so worthless whenever they connect with their family. So just know it could be a polaric uh, repercussion or a polaric um, eventuality from this, uh, this transit. But it's really good for gardening. It's really good for gardening because this is the fourth house of gardening and Venus is plants and flowers. So getting your hands in the earth, Capricorn's an earth sign, very, very good for you right now, healing for you. And Venus is where we spend money. So you might be spending more money on your garden, your home decor, your home life, on food, on your car, your bike, your boat now. You might be just putting more money into those things. Watch out for overspending. An out of bounds moon can take things, uh, sorry, an out of bounds Venus can take things to extremes. Um, there could also be for some people sudden windfalls from property or land development that occurs during this period as well. The heart chakra is ruled by the fourth house and 
for some of us who are Libran people, we might find that our heart chakra opens up big time in a way we haven't quite felt because Venus Venus is connected. I mean, this fourth house is heart chakra, but Venus is connected to things associated with the heart chakra, to connection, love, relationship, you know, the, the things of the heart, the things that we love are seen from the fourth house as well. Um, so opening of the heart chakra can happen. Where is your heart these days? Where is your heart centered? What are you longing for? Well, anything that you your heart is centered on is going to feel really good to you now, feel beautiful, feel um, desired by you now. Venus is desire, not Mars. Mars is actually the action we take to get what we desire, but the desire itself comes from Venus. So where is your desire? What is your heart centered on that you desire right now? And you might see interesting results with those desires because of Venus being in the fourth house and out of bounds. All right, Scorpio, rising sun or moon people. The energy of the Out of Bounds Venus is falling for you in your third house. And this is where there could be some fast changes, some quick changes in your life. Lots of quick thinking as well. Because uh, how we think, which is a third house topic, is going to affect how you feel about things. Um, and that has to do with Venus and, and what we love. So your mental state is going to be very, very important. You might be thinking a lot about Venusian things right now, thinking about um, love, thinking about beauty, thinking about your money, and your mind is just going to all these Venusian things. You might also get to do a bit of localized travel. Um, you might to a beautiful place, to a B&B, &B and have a luxurious experience perhaps. Um, and the third house is also people that we've chosen uh, sorry, that we've not chosen to have in our lives. So people in our lives that haven't been our choice, like other relatives, our siblings, our neighbors, we don't get to choose those things. Um, and Venus here can give us, in an out of bounds condition, can give us a more um, amiable relationship with those people that we haven't actually made a choice to have in our lives. There can be a beautified relationship, but it could something could happen unexpectedly that characterizes that or brings that to be you know uh, suddenly a neighbor out of the blue brings you over a casserole that they've cooked and you're like wow I've only said two words to you and here you are bringing me a casserole just out of sheer kindness sudden unexpected Venusian interaction for Scorpio people in the third house third house is the the um, throat chakra and our ability to speak it's about our communication of of, of our thoughts about our expression and we might be communicating very sweetly now we might be uh, communicating with diplomacy and gracefulness in our words and in our tone which is lovely um, messages that we receive so we, some people might get a beautiful message come into their life now beautiful like a card in the mail or some kind of wonderful email that gives you joy um, but it's also the third house is the lower mind of trivial things so I wouldn't say that if you get a special message, it's going to be anything life transforming. Um, I, it might be something more trivial, like I just thought I want you know that you should know that I think you're really great, and there's your message. You know, um, nothing that's going to sort of take you from living on one side of the country to another because the message is just that profound. Okay, um, now this is a, a excuse me a combination that could transform your wealth situation because if you had this placement an out of bounds venus in the third house it's a danya yoga it's a combination for self-made wealth now this is just by transit and this could actually bring in more positive wealth that's generated from something that you do this is not about uh, you know, I work for the company and therefore I'm going to get more money. No, it's more about, okay, I create these products. I, I use my hands and the skills of my hands to make this product that I sell on Etsy or I write these poems and i releasing an edition of poems. Whatever that you do with your own skills and abilities is a third house thing and that's how you can make money um, during this time when Venus is moving in out of bounds manner through your third house. So if you have always thought about um, launching a Etsy channel or an Etsy shop or something, then this is a good time to look at doing that. Absolutely. 
Now, you like to talk and think and communicate during this time in a way that's very Venusian. As I said, sweet, gentle, receptive, but it's a positive placement also for good listening. So beautiful placement for the use of beautiful words. And if you're a salesperson, you're on a winner. This is going to really help the words to, to silkily, smoothly roll off your tongue and not manipulate people, but, but to make a good sale. Um, be aware of lovers who might try to seduce you with their words under this energy and they might promise you the world and then not follow through. Um, and you might find that you're talking a lot more than usual now, Scorpio, because of this placement. You will love, Venus is love, what we love, to talk, third house. And communicate so if you're not talking you might be writing a lot more you might be communicating on social media a lot more than usual and you might be talking a lot about relationships about money about pleasures and luxuries and values the things ruled by Venus and you can attract more wealth into your life through this Venus placement as well so as I said doing those skills of the hands but also maybe taking a short trip could prove very lucrative for you you might make some really positive connections that are going to be valuable to you in the future you might write a blog that turns out to be um, a very valuable thing for you to have uh, learning an instrument could be a very valuable thing so you can attract more wealth through third house things while venus is moving through this realm of the sky and venus is love and you may find that you could um, discover new love through undertaking a third house endeavor you might discover a new skill that you love you could also attend a cookery class and discover the love of your life so that kind of thing it could even be that you know doing a third house thing like going for a walk or taking a little holiday you know at a and b or studying like i said some new course could help you or participating in a group meeting of some description small group workshop hanging out with your siblings these things are third house things and they could help you uh, or they could introduce you to a new love while Venus is out of bounds in your third house. So the third house represents the short term things and um, and just be aware that if a relationship starts because of this influence alone, it's likely to be more short lived, like one of those nice little dating relationships that maybe lasts a month and then that's it. Um, you may have other things going on in your chart that will impact you for the long term and be of benefit for the long term relationally but that's an individual thing and if you would like to get a reading to know about when love will come my readings are on discount at the moment check them out on the website guiding star astrology so uh, that said the company you keep now could include a lot more women uh, and beautiful company, refined company, sophisticated company rather than the bogans. <laughs> so that could be very, very nice. And where you spend money is usually seen from Venus as well. And you'll probably spend a bit of money on uh, third house things like a small course, on books, magazines, short trips, um, e-commerce, on subscriptions, on advertising, courses, webinars. Those things might be where your money goes while Venus is transiting your third house. All right, Sagittarius. You are up next and you are having out of bounds Venus moving through your second house. Well, um, Venus is actually the natural ruler of the second house. Remember, it governs the sign of Taurus. Taurus is a natural sign of the second house. So Venus is not in a weak sign in Capricorn because Venus and its ruler, Saturn, are friends in astrology. But, um, you know, in Capricorn, it's it's... It's going to give you the ability to experience luxuries and enjoyments of life during this period. The higher refined, sophisticated pleasures, let's say, of, of life. You know, rich, decadent food. You might be having more chocolate desserts than usual. Um, you might actually find that your sweet tooth is really activated while Venus is moving through the second house as well. And, you know, you might be having more sweet cocktails or ciders rather than you know, your usual dry red or dry white or something like that. Um, uh, so things that satiate the senses, like the, the taste buds, are going to be very much on the cards for you now. Um, you might go shopping for some new fabric and you see this beautiful velvet and you think, yeah, that's I want the velvet because it's beautiful to touch or a silk or something like that, rather than just picking the plain cotton or, um, you know, the 
corduroy or something you know you want something that's I mean corduroy is quite nice to touch isn't it really <laughs> that's probably a bad example um, muslin or something very plain and ordinary you'll go for something more sensual to the touch um, or the taste or the smell or the sight or the sound the senses are going to be highly activated while Venus moves through your second house and so this is a time when you might perhaps go shopping a bit more and maybe spend too much remember venus is out of bounds and it can take things to extremes so if you are going shopping be careful of overindulgence on clothes or makeup or jewelry or art or music or furniture things that venus governs you know um you might be very much inclined to collect a few of those things under the venus influence and there's nothing wrong with that but you know sometimes we take things over the top and under a venus out of bounds influence that's likely to be the case so heads up but you will enjoy and love using your money um, right now and making it work for you remember that there's a like there's an extreme energy with a venus out of bounds you know you could have suddenly a lot of money to go spend and you may spend it too much um, and the polar opposite is that you might find that money is really tight and you've got no money to spend on luxuries at the moment if that is the case know that venus will um, cease to be out of bounds and come back into its normal management range um, by the 6th of December so if you can hang in there and stretch yourself until then you, you will be okay um, so you probably have with Venus moving through your second house a good ability to evaluate what's worthwhile and what's valuable and you know trust your taste now trust um, your your inklings for things because you know this is the house of possessions and Venus is what you love you'll probably um, buy something and you will tend to love it for the long term um, there could be because Venus is out of bounds some sudden changes to your values system what you value what you appreciate what you highly regard might go through a shift of some sort a change in dynamic now but there is a need with Venus in the second house to focus on taking care of the self and increasing your self-worth in order to attract money to you now very very important so direct your growth of worthiness if you like or your self-love into how beautiful you feel so that might for example that might mean your external appearance if you put effort in Capricorn to put effort in if you put effort into how attractive you look Venus then it will boost how you value yourself and it'll draw more material blessings into your life that's how the energy works so you know when I'm not on recording day here yeah, for all my YouTube and Patreon friends um, I pretty much dag around the house in my slippers <laughs> it's not not proud to say that but why not I don't don't interact with people all, all day long when I'm just doing my readings and what have you at home um, but if I wanted to if this was me and I was Sagittarius rising and I wanted to attract more money into my life then I would get up and put my makeup on and wear something really attractive like Gloria out of Modern Family I've been watching a lot of Modern Family lately so forgive all the correspondences <laughs> to Modern Family but I would dress up to be at home and do my work from home um, because I wanted to pull more money into my life more affluence more pleasures more luxuries more Venus things into my life so the more that you direct your energy into valuing your beauty and making yourself beautiful Sagittarius man or woman make yourself look good then you will actually start to energize the attraction of abundance into your life while Venus is moving through Capricorn so little tricks of the trade there <laughs> you can tell because I wear my daggy slippers all, all week long um, that I don't have Venus natally in my second house at all and it's not there by transit right now either <laughs> it needs to be all right Capricorn rising oops I'm wrecking my little arrow here Capricorn rising I have to get a new one Sun or Moon um, placements we have Venus out of bounds in your first house so this gracious beautiful Venusian energy is magnetized in you right now and you will have this certain refined appeal people will be drawn to you now this this energy is very like um, like the Grace Kelly energy you know you just admirers looking at you feeling like wow beautiful and in Capricorn it's kind of got that energy of um, refinement about it 
Venus in Capricorn. So um, this beautiful, gracious magnetism, ability to charm others, ability to be very, very likable is yours now. Leverage it, use it, enjoy it. Delight in that beautiful feeling. You might even feel more loving and affectionate while Venus is transiting your first house, more pleasant, more diplomatic um, as a part of this energy. You might also find that your, your um, physical vitality is directed now to more Venusian things, relationships, you know, thinking a lot about matchmaking or somebody matching you up with someone. Um, these can be a big focus for your energy right now, thinking about connection and partnering and so on which is the nature of Venus there could be some strange relationship occurrences that happen in your life now uh, very unexpected relationships that come into your life could be business partners could be friends could be a new lover and it could be very rapid relationship occurrences it also could be that maybe there are some relationship disturbances because Venus out of bounds is very polaric you could go really fantastically and you know, have, you know, beating lovers off with a stick kind of thing. Or it could be that instead you are, you find uh, that suddenly everything's dried up and there's nothing or the relationship is, is sort of folding in your life. Um, so either one of those extreme polarities, but sort of no middle ground, kind of no fence sitting. Um, there could be some money challenges for you that come with this, sudden windfalls, sudden losses, so act with caution, you know. Yeah, you might be tempted to go and put all your money on horse number five or something, but um, I would encourage you to sort of balance things a bit uh, with, with the out-of-bounds Venus because it could go all in your favor and you could end up, you know, with pockets full of cash, but it could also go the other way. Venus out-of-bounds is very polaric and, and very unexpected kind of energy like that of Venus with Uranus you don't know really how it's going to exhibit so be careful now if you're a woman and you've got Venus out of bounds moving through your first house you could be behaving very unpredictably now for better or for worse you could do something really risky really life-changing really exciting equally you could do something really erratic and really unusual and something that has everybody scratching their head going what happened to her you know so if you're a woman you've got this placement or you've got this transit happening um, be conscious that that, that might be happening um, and if you are a woman and you've got this placement happening uh, transiting through your first house you might suddenly discover that you're really fascinated by occult things you're really interested in learning more about occult things you want to dive into that would be like energy healing alchemy past life regression astrology those sorts of things might be very appealing to you um, as a woman you might also gain some sort of high level revelations or insights you know those goosebump moments or those tingly moments that we get where truths are revealed and these truths will usually have something to do with a Venus thing. So it might be a, a truth about your real self-worth and value. You know, you might get some eye-opening insight into how much you really do or do not love or value yourself and where that needs to change. You might get some insight into money and materiality. You might get some insight into your relationships and your sensual side. You know, you thought you were going about life happily ever after and everything's fine. And then you realize, you know what, I haven't been honoring my sensual side one bit and something happens where you, that is revealed to you and you get this revelation for example um, if you're a man the woman that you are attracted to at this time might behave very erratically or there might even be an important woman in your life who you get an important revelation about something is revealed some sort of secret is uncovered um, and made clear to you now about a woman in your life if you are a man with this placement so if you are Aquarius rising sun or moon well this is very interesting sorry my little arrow is starting to give up the ghost um, this is a very interesting placement out of bounds Venus in the 12th house Venus is what we love and what we enjoy and so at this time when Venus is it is this heightened and very polaric kind of expression you might be inclined to want to enjoy international travel or exploration of faraway places um, you might be doing a bit of travel or jumping boots and all into more spiritual and mystical things 
Um, and that includes having experiences of the spiritual and the mystical, but also might include purchasing so, sort of mystical or spiritual items like a singing bowl or crystals or um, you know an oracle card deck or something like that you might be spending your money on. You could also be spending your money, Venus, on beautiful hotels, beautiful resorts, refined art and film and music or having um, new luxuries brought into your bedroom. You know, you might get a new mattress topper for your bed or a brand new duna cover or something to beautify your bedroom. So, um, you know, if you are in love, if you are in a relationship, if you're dating someone, it's a really good energy to get them something from a faraway place or take them to a faraway place indulge them with something sacred or mystical or spiritual as a gift um, you might like to gift your lover uh, some yoga classes or meditation classes or a night at a luxury hotel or retreat or a spa treatment you might like to gift your lover because venus rules our lovers something uh, beautiful for their bedroom you know luxury bed linen or an beautiful lingerie or something like that um, that uh, if you man or woman you know if you have Venus if you're Aquarius and you've got Venus transiting your 12th house then indulge your partner but be careful of taking it to extremes because Venus is out of bounds you don't want to lose you know all your income buying that really cute little night dress or something like that for your lover um, because Venus even when it's not out of bounds venus transiting the 12th house can issue that can indicate rather that spending might be an issue um, you can lose a lot of money when venus transits the 12th house and usually that will be because you're spending money on things that make you feel good or things that help you escape reality there's always a danger of going too far with it when you have venus transiting the um uh, the 12th house but you know invisible forces are actually able to be pulling the strings regarding prosperity with this placement as well because this is the house of invisible forces and our ancestors watching over us past lives all that sort of thing so they might be sort of having a bit to do with you might not realize it but they might be having a bit to do with what's happening in your financial life for one reason or another um so you know if that's a bother to you then ask you know guys I'm losing money left right and center back off you know stop or come on guys how about injecting a bit of money my way um, but Venus here can also indicate that money can be made through 12th house things while it is transiting this point um, spirituality creativity imagination healing medicine film fantasy illusion escapism foreign travel day spas hospitals prisons I mean all these 12th house things can actually be sources of making money while Venus is here um, I'd be careful about that when Venus goes retrograde but for the time being in the week ahead that's what we're looking at um, it's a position that can make you very charitable as well and giving with your money you might be you know have the impulse now to help somebody in need that you might not ordinarily think of um, do be careful because the 12th house is the martyr energy be careful not to martyr yourself financially for the sake of other people while Venus is moving through here and it's a house of addiction too or one of the houses of addiction and so Venus is sugar and alcohol and sweet things watch out for addiction while it's moving through here or it just simply indulging too much um, in say chocolates for example because chocolate is ruled by Venus and 12th house is escapism oh, I can't handle I had such a bad day at work where's a box of chocolates and I'm sitting there eating them while I'm watching modern family on the telly eating away and suddenly I've eaten a whole packet of Tim Tams or something as my daughter did the other night um, and so escaping into your food indulgences and then you regret it later okay careful um, I would also suggest not to become too attached to spending or uh, sorry not not to spend to the possessions right now uh, or the fine food or having the perfect partner because this is an energy Venus in the 12th house of loss 12th house is to lose things so it's not, I'm not saying you're necessarily going to lose your partner some people might but there need to be other things going on in their chart besides an out of bounds Venus in your 12th house um, but don't be too attached to having the dream the fantasy you know that perfect partner who looks hot as and they're this that and the other I mean you'll be disappointed if you're putting 
you know, all those visions and fantasies into this idealistic basket regarding Venusian things. Um, letting go of those expectations is actually going to serve you better while Venus moves through the 12th house. Like truly not caring about whether you have these things or not can actually cause those things to manifest for you quite beautifully now. Because the 12th house actually is connected to soulmates. So with an out of bounds Venus here, it is entirely possible that you might meet a soulmate. And that could be a lover partner, or it could be a best friend, or it could be um, just uh, a connection that it feels like, boom, we've known each other forever. Um, it, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but it is a placement for soulmates, Venus moving through the 12th house so you could meet somebody of that nature now but it's not an easy placement for relationships people think oh if it's a soulmate it's going to be a walk in the park mm -mm. relationships can be very difficult it's about that person helping you to grow and up level that's what a soulmate does you know um so uh it, it's interesting because the um the 12th house is the the house of the enemy of marriage and it's a house of affairs and secret relationships yearning to be with someone that we can't have <laughs> very Pisces energy isn't it people deceiving you um, so it, it can indicate that you know you're attracted to someone suddenly someone comes into your life out of bounds Venus it happens all of a sudden kaboom um, but you could be very unclear about that person you mightn't see the, the true them you mightn't see the reality of them you might be caught in the fantasy caught into caught in the vision um, and you can mislead yourself having this romanticized image of what a relationship could be or for a man they might have a romanticized image of what a woman uh like they meet a woman and they think that she's something that she's not because there's there's this wall pulled over our eyes with the 12th house there's this mistiness this illusionary energy so just be careful yeah soulmates can happen but equally the shadow side is this illusionary effect um that that leads to disillusionment and disappointment we might find that while we have an out of bounds venus moving through the 12th house we're craving for the ideal love craving for the perfect partner and we might find that the reality of relationships might get too much to bear for us because we we have this ideal in our head and the current relationship you know my my partner's scratching their ring and sitting there drinking a beer and whatever and it's like oh yuck no thanks and you we decide mm, time to time to leave you know time to get out of here this is a placement for the enemy of relationships so venus moving through the 12th house of course that have to be other things going on in your chart that would indicate the end of a relationship or a divorce or something like that as well but this can be one contributing factor um okay so it, it as i said uh, it's an indicator for um that sort of martyrdom Another thing to be careful of with an out of bounds Venus here is martyring yourself for the love of your life or someone you love. It's a sacrificial love where what I need, what I want doesn't matter as long as I'm giving and making someone else happy and oh, I'm Pisces rising. I know all about that crap. So <laughs> just be careful Aquarius. You don't want to go there. Believe me, you don't want to go there. Um, you could meet uh, a new lover under this transit in some faraway place or a retreat or a day spa or a hospital or some sort of gated community or a private club or a secret environment. Um, some people, as I said, it's a house of affairs. You might meet a new lover or a soulmate while you're already in a relationship with this. Again, there need to be more than just this happening in your natal chart to indicate that, but it is a trigger. It can be a difficult placement if you're a woman and experiencing this transit because you might suddenly find that you're very down on yourself and you have unrealistic expectations for your own beauty. You want to look like Sofia Vergara and you just can't pull it off. You know, I mean, who can, Collie? Um, but you want this ideal and this fairy tale image of beauty, but it's not realistic. And a Venus in out of bounds mode in the 12th house might see you spend a lot of money trying to attain that beauty that unrealistic fantasy level of beauty and what happens in the end disappointment frustration disillusionment okay so um, I, I sound really rather negative but this is a hard house to have Venus transiting through 
especially as Venus is going to go retrograde here. So I wanted to spend a bit of time for you guys, Aquarians, to talk about that energy and just to be forewarned and forearmed. Now, um, having said that, not all Venus out of bounds transits are going to be so challenging. It really depends on the house that Venus is moving through doing this. So you, you kind of have drawn the short straw with this one this year, but don't worry, another year or two and you know, you'll, you'll be getting the winning hand. So energies are cyclical in, in that way. All right, so thank you, Aquarius. Big hugs to you um, for this one. Pisces, Pisces rising, sun or moon people. Well, the energy of the out of bounds Venus is moving through your 11th house of rewards, gains and friendships. So you're going to really enjoy being out socially now if you have the opportunity, Pisces. I mean, ordinarily, if you're like me, Pisces people, happy with our own company, thanks very much. Happy retreating and escaping and being sort of a bit of a loner, a bit isolated, you know. But there may be an opportunity under this energy of Out of Bounds Venus in your 11th house to connect, to go to a large gathering like a concert or an event or a fashion show. I'm thinking of going um, to one of the protest marches that are happening um, all over uh, Australia and the world right now as well. And I think it's high time I showed up and um, got out of my little Pisces <laughs> shell <laughs> and, and went to one of those. So this, you'll enjoy it if you do. Venus, in the 11th house of activism and large social gatherings, you will enjoy going and being a part of something of that nature. Now your friends, especially female friends, Pisces, could be quite changeable under this energy, a bit unpredictable. There might be sudden changes in your friendships with women as well. Um, so that's one way this could manifest. There could also be sudden changes in the fortune. Venus is money and 11th house is gainfulness. Your female friends might have sudden changes in fortune. They might suddenly come into a windfall or they might suddenly have to spend a lot of money on an issue or something. Um, changes in the fortune of our friends. There can be potential for unexpected gains that come your way as well. Um, and that could be through any Venusian thing. So you might be... Uh, you might gain through something beautiful, something romantic, something Venusian. It could be that you gain through a relationship, perhaps. It could be that you gain uh, some material goods, Venus's material goods, and the 11th house is um, to be gainful. But, you know, gaining uh, can be more than just money in the hand. It can be a good reputation. It could be that you gain uh, an award or gain some recognition that really propels you forward in life. There's lots of different ways to be gainful. But it could be through Venusian things like food, flowers, art, fashion, makeup, music, that you experience some kind of gainfulness now, Pisces. There could be sudden and unexpected rises in your own fortune as a reward for your endeavors. So maybe you've been working on a project for a long time, career project, and with Venus out of bounds here now in your 11th house, you'll be very blessed to have that really pay off for you now, to really reward you now. Now, also that said, and I'm no financial advisor, so, you know, listen with an open mind to this and also listen by tuning into your higher self. What does your, your big self say? But the stock market is seen from the 11th house and with an out of bounds Venus, it could pay off for you really well. Um, and any investments that you make now, you could reap the rewards in the long term because Capricorn is the long game. Capricorn is the long game, not the instantaneous, but for the long term. You could invest in the stock market under a, a um, out of bounds Venus, and you could reap rewards in the long term. They might be big and surprising rewards. Now that said, this is why I wanted you to tune into your higher self and see well, what is my gut feeling about this, because. Uh, out of bounds Venus can be very polaric and it could mean fantastic rewards and gains or it could mean I lose it all so don't go putting your life savings on the stock market or some investment opportunity like that but instead uh, act with caution act with Capricornian conservatism and you might be pleasantly surprised at the outcome Interactions with political systems are seen here as well and they might be unexpectedly beneficial for you. I kind of gave you an illustration of that when I was talking about going to protests where you really enjoy it or you make a new connection or you might even meet a new lover and meet a you know boyfriend or a girlfriend at an activist convention or a you know protest march. 
Um, and it's you will probably really enjoy because Venus is what we love. You you may really enjoy an experience of taking some activism on behalf of the masses, Pisces. So, you know, we, we tend to be. I mean, some of us tend to be. Um, a bit more reserved and a bit more you know happy with our own company and keep to ourselves but now is really the time Pisces when you can make a difference and you'll probably enjoy doing so dreams and wishes are seen from the 11th house as well and with an out of bounds Venus now is the time to be putting your longings and desires as Abraham Hicks says out into the vortex in vision now I could go into a whole big tangent about fate and free will here because I'm a bit funny about the whole law of attraction thing uh, it all depends on the energetic wiring of your natal chart whether law of attraction works for you or not that said this is a good energy with a, an out of bounds Venus for putting dreams and wishes and longings out there to the universe envision visualize look to the future what do you want it to look like in five years 10 years 15 years visualize while venus is here and out of bounds because an out of bounds venus can give surprising results and we know pisces you're brilliant at the visions the visioning the idealizing of what could happen so look ahead bring it all in unexpected or changeable situations can occur also if you're somebody who is renting or collecting rent from people uh, if, if you have um, anything to do with royalties salaries bonuses and you're receiving those or you're handing those out there could be some changing dynamics with those kinds of incomes as well while Venus is out of bounds and doing unexpected things in the 11th house Alrighty, Aries rising, sun or moon people, the energy of an out of bounds Venus, I'm not liking my falling apart arrow there very much, is falling in the 10th house. Well, this is a placement that can uh, indicate that there might be some relationship issues in your life, uh, changes in relationships that are made very obvious to the world. No sort of things behind closed doors, no secrets no hidden affairs if there's a relationship change about to happen it's going to be made public it's going to be out there everyone's going to know about it you'll have the media you know on your back like your princess diana out in the world with any changes to personal relationship dynamics or even business partner dynamics because oops those things are what is ruled by venus and it's in the, the most public house so that could happen um, look there could be in the positive an ease of leadership and an ease of obtaining social a good social reputation now so so that could be good if you want to sort of have a good social status out there um, you know and you want to maybe get a promotion or do something that's going to see you put in a good light in the world then this is a good energy to do uh, to do that with because you'll get good results make the most of it um, people are also going to perceive you even if even if the dirty washing is hung out for everybody to see people are going to perceive you very well under this because Venus in the 10th house of how people perceive you it, it will by transit it will have you perceived as being charming kind gentle sweet so you're not going to be if your dirty washing is hung out for the world to see you're not going to be the one who people are pointing the finger at and going tut 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 you're going to be the one that people empathize with so uh and of course as uh, many people have their mid heaven point in the 10th house as venus crosses that point as well in its out of bounds motion then you might find that it's particularly pronounced all these effects that i'm talking about um, but there could be sudden changes as I said to your respectability to your notoriety and this can include sudden fame as well but keep in mind it may not be fame that lasts or endures for the long term it, it, it's very on again off again with this kind of energy but your 15 minutes of fame you may be about to have it there could be some good dealings with governments and authorities under this energy uh, but also quite surprising and unexpected dealings remember out of bounds Venus is quite polaric but it might be a good time to submit some documents to council depending on your natal chart situation but if you know you need to hand in a planning application or get a building permit or something like that through council then this could be very much in your favor having Venus moving through this realm of the chart because they will perceive you these government authorities will perceive you with in a favorable uh, advantageous light so that is what we want when we're dealing with councils don't we 
believe me, I used to be on that other side of the, the bench taking the applications for people applying. And you always remember who were the nice people. You might give them a bit better deal. <laughs> the correct. Councils are corrupt, let me tell you. Um, so unusual interactions can also occur with your father. Now, this isn't a transit that's going to see anything horrific happen with your father, but there might be something unusual come up, something unexpected come up that you didn't see coming with regard to your father. Um, you might be spending money, because Venus is where we spend money, on high-end luxuries under this influence. You know, refined, top of the tree, no going to Target or Kmart kind of spending. You know, we're going to Collins Street, Melbourne. You know, we're going to the most sophisticated end of town to buy our fancy gear. Just be careful. Venus is out of bounds. It can take things too far. So watch those purse strings. Know what's in your bank account and don't get caught. Um, there could also be, having just mentioned the father, there could also be some surprising changes regarding the wealth of your father under this influence as well. For our Taurus rising sun or moon people, we have the energy of the out of bounds Venus falling in the ninth house up here, um, the luckiest house in the horoscope. And we're wanting to go for a walk. So if you are a man, you might find that this is a time where Venus is out of bounds in your ninth house, that you're attracted all of a sudden to some foreign woman or a woman who's highly spiritual or works in academia or works in education. You might even meet a new lover in one of those places, uh, you know, in, in a university or at a spiritual retreat or at a, you know, an ashram or a church or something like that, or maybe even at some sort of a celebration, like you go to a christening and there she is, the love of your life, if you're a man, because Venus rules um, love, uh, the, the partner for a man. Um, you know, you might meet her in those environments. Uh, you might be spending, this is for man, a man or a woman, um, you might be spending a lot more money, because Venus is where we tend to spend money, um, spending more money on travel, academia, other cultures, publishing, faith, belief, study, learning. Um, getting inspired you might spend money to go and get inspired and revved up go to a Tony Robbins seminar and you know come out all pumped um, there's also with Venus in the ninth house great love for an interest in international affairs right now so I'm not talking affairs where you you know love affairs I'm talking about what's going on in France right now and how does that apply to what's happening here in Australia and you know what's unfolding in America and you're very curious now and interested and loving finding out about what's happening in uh, other countries. Now you might find that a woman comes into your life as a source of inspiration and brings some higher level insights into your world, some revelations. Could also be that a woman reveals some truth to you that has previously been hidden and that will likely have to do with some Venusian thing. Maybe she reveals something about money, uh, about materiality, possessions, stuff, um, about relationships, about your sensual side, something, some light bulb, penny drop, epiphany moment about those Venusian things occurs under this energy. Uh, you could also get some sudden occult downloads, those goosebump moments that occur with an out of bounds Venus in the, the ninth house. Um, prophecy might occur, spiritual insight. So if you suddenly get, you know, a sense of goosebumps and you're thinking, hang on, I think I need to sell my house or whatever it happens to be, you get these goosebumps it's like, aha, uh -huh, trust it intuition it's happening for you there this is the house of signs and omens and with venus out of bounds here if you get any kind of omens or signs do not ignore them they're they're coming through with the intent of changing your life and helping you along the path this is the luckiest house in the horoscope for just that reason um, so trust what you're receiving, but particularly if it has to do with a Venusian thing. If you're getting a, a, some sort of prophet, prophetic download or spiritual insight about a relationship, about other women in your life, about your money and how to make money or you know manage your money or something, listen to it. That is exactly what the omens and the signs will be giving you information for right now. So uh, it's also a placement, Venus moving through here, for discovering your truth regarding what you value, discovering your truth regarding your morals and your ethics, and there might be some big changes being made to those things now. And out of bounds, Venus is going to shake things up out of a rut. 
You might find that once this is all over on the 6th of December that you have a brand new perspective, uh, ethical perspective on life. So your vision for the future might be greatly refined under this energy um, and usually that will happen through some unexpected event of some sort. All right, I'm going a little longer than I usually would and I'm sorry everybody. So Gemini rising sun or moon people. The energy of the out of bounds Venus moving through Capricorn is happening for you in the eighth house and so you might find that a woman um, or some, many women actually might bring you powerful messages, powerful insights, powerful shamanic messages from the divine. In fact a woman or a group of women might even inspire you to dive deep into shamanism, alchemy, astrology, psychology, energy healing, all these eighth house things might be uh, uh, inspired in you through a connection with other women um, yeah so if you are a man and you're experiencing this transit you might be attracted to or begin a relationship with a woman like that an alchemist or an astrologer or something or a significant woman in your life might start to show an interest if you're a man you might start to show an interest in shamanism or psychology or energy healing and if you are a man and you've got a significant woman in your life getting into those things encourage her support her in doing that because she's responding to the energy that's unfolding right now and that's the right thing to do to respond positively to the energy this is a great energy for sex and your sex life bonus guys tantric experiences can be very uplifting now you might even encounter some surprising sexual partners or surprising sexual experiences there is a heightened magnetism that you Gemini will be carrying and a, a, a greater sexual aura so you know you you're not even don't even have to try to turn it on people are just like hey 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 when they see you so be wary also with this energy of psychological games in relationships it's the shadow side and remember that out of bounds Venus can be very very polaric it can in the shadow side also indicate love triangles in some instances that might occur um, secret admirers as well can happen stalkers hidden relationships can also begin under an energy like this um, and they will tend to happen suddenly and unexpectedly you weren't looking for it but there it is sudden insights can occur moving away from the sexual realm sudden insights can occur that really raise your level of consciousness and awareness yay <laughs> I always love it when those things happen um, unfortunately the raise in consciousness doesn't often come from just you know buying some fairy floss and um, grabbing a balloon and going hooray no it, it's much more that our raises in consciousness experiences occur from some sort of difficulty or crisis which is why the raising of our consciousness is found in the eighth house of crisis Ugh. but there might be some an insight or a download or some goosebump moment that gives you a raise in consciousness over some issue in your life. Uh, there could be sudden changes to finances, to love, to the luxuries that you experience in life and possibly to your own personal stability as well. There can be big shake-ups here. This is not an easy energy, Gemini. I mean, it could be fun with the sex thing, but um, it it's not going to be easy because this is a house of crisis and Venus is very erratic when she's out of bounds she gives God any knows like extremes of her energy so it could mean big windfalls you know and that could bring a complete change to your personal stability so why not if you can manage it you know and afford it Gemini go buy a tax lotto ticket under this influence because this is an energy that could give you a big windfall that completely changes the material stability of your life but it could also look like you, you suddenly instead of just getting a financial windfall it could also look like you get an opportunity for more moral support or emotional support in life and sometimes that's more of a blessing you know to just have the backing of people who care for us and are going to be there for us no matter what. For some there may also be some form of liberation um, from material attachments during this time and I'm not just talking that you win tax lotto I'm talking that you know it doesn't matter. You know, I'm going to sell my house, going to buy a bus, going to travel around and live a van life, you know, and you liberate yourself from material concerns. That could happen. And so, you know, it, things that happen now of that nature are designed to deepen your level of conscious awareness. So you might begin to, another thing that you can do when Venus is transiting your eighth house is start to stash or hide money or material goods away in some manner now, you know, secret things under the bed or whatever, you know, and, and also secret business alliances or offshore bank accounts can suddenly 
uh, manifest in your life, suddenly be a thing. The shadow side of this energy is, is you need to be very careful of attacks from women, especially spiritual attacks that you might not be aware of. So put your psychic protectors in place, whatever you choose to do spiritually to do that. Um, and you might find that you see some sort of hidden truth comes out regarding women in your life. That could be quite confronting. So forewarned is forearmed. All right, Cancer rising, sun or moon people, the energy of this the energy of our little sojourn of Venus out of bounds through Capricorn is falling in your seventh house. So this is a good energy to socialize with a partner. If you are in love with your partner and you like to do stuff with them, then this is for you. Get out there, enjoy the pleasures of life, enjoy the luxuries of life together. Go to a day spa, go and have dinner at a fancy restaurant if you're able to in a country that allows you to, um, you know, go and enjoy socializing with a partner now. This is a good energy for that. Now, if you're single with this placement, you might, there's a couple of ways this can manifest. You might have a sense that all the Venusian things of life, beauty, love, money, are far away from you. Why is that? Here is Cancer. Furthest away is Capricorn. And so Venus is now the furthest away from you under this transit cancer so you might feel like if you're single and you're not with somebody that you can sort of collaborate on these fun joyful things with that you feel like oh money and beauty and love they're just out of my reach they're too far away from where I'm at in my life at the moment if this makes you sad cancer and remember this is not gonna be the case for everyone but um, it's more likely to be seen for somebody who is perhaps single or not in a business partnership or not in some sort of connected relationship um, if this makes you sad remember that this is just an energy and it's going to pass 6th of December it will ease off quite a bit when Venus ceases to be out of bounds admittedly then it's, it's, it's going to end up going retrograde here but it's not like it's going to be at that extreme level of energy that we're feeling when Venus is out of bounds but the good thing is that the seventh house is what we attract and pull in from others it's like a mirror you know here's the mirror we're holding it up to the world we are holding the mirror up we being cancer holding the mirror up to the world and what is reflecting back to us Venus things so we might be attracting in Venus things from other people particularly the women Venus women in our life might be they might be giving back to us love money beauty pleasure and so look around you cancer if you're a single person and you haven't got you feel like it's not in your sphere then look at the women in your life what love are they offering you what support are they offering you what beauty are they offering you what pleasures are they offering you that you can enjoy and connect with them over now single people who suddenly meet a partner under this energy and it can certainly happen while Venus is transiting the seventh house and is out of bounds um, you might meet a partner that makes you feel more beautiful the partner is going to make you feel more appealing and the partner is going to make you feel more attractive when you are in love with a new partner that could come in under an out of bounds Venus so if you are happy in a relationship already as well then that can also be the case being with your partner just lifts up that feeling of beauty and love and appreciation and and your, your sense of personal appeal that can be heightened now if you are uh, not if you're in a relationship but it's not a happy one I've just described what can happen if you are in a good relationship if you're in a relationship but it's not a happy one then this is an energy Venus out of bounds in your seventh house might spell a sudden change your partners might act irrationally and out of character they might need their freedom you might need to let them go there can be big changes in the life of your partner where they you know do things not only out of character but they make choices that you know that really change their whole existence you're not able to it could be an energy where you find that you can't stick to one person any longer you've had it you're up to here with it and breakups and divorce are a result that's another thing that can occur with an out-of-bounds Venus going through the seventh house um, it can lead to separations it can also be an indicator of cheating as well when Venus is transiting through the seventh house there's this need for liberation either you need it or your partner needs it freedom and truth in the relationship now and that is simply because the relationship hasn't been real probably for quite some time 
So there can be lots of sudden and fast developments in, um, you know, and ups and downs also in your social life or your business life or your personal relationships, as I've just spoken about. Uh, your business partners, as well as your relational partners, can be financially indulgent now to the point of frustration, spending your money left, right, and center, and you're like, enough, you know, stop buying donuts for everyone for morning tea at work with my money, you know, um, whatever the situation might be. Uh, so that, that can be a sore point as well. Business deals, argument, uh, sorry, um, contracts, alliances with women, they can all occur now. That's fine. It's a good thing to do, um, especially if you find that such opportunities come to you out of the blue and you weren't looking for them and suddenly there they are. Uh, it's also really good, I've got to say, if you are looking for work now as a cancer person, um, then a woman can be someone who can step up with an opportunity, a business deal, an agreement, and a contract that could be very, very helpful. It might come suddenly out of the blue too. All right, Leo rising, sun or moon people. The energy of, oopsies, the energy of the out of bounds Venus moving here through your um, three sixth house. Now, unfortunately. This is a difficult position for Venus to be transiting through and it can indicate that there might be some breaking of promises, contracts and relationship connections here. Um, this is the house of divorce, Venus's relationships and when she's acting really erratic as an in and out of bounds motion could get really difficult. So heads up Leo uh, on this one. I'm Leo Sun. Um, so you know this applies to me as much as anyone and it could be that you know, not only a relationship, a love relationship, could be a business partnership that falls apart under this transit. Um, if you are a Leo person and you're looking at beginning a relationship while this transit is going on, it can indicate that the relationship might be somehow problematic. Um, there might be difficulties to overcome. There might be, you know, um, I don't know, legal matters to organize before the relationship can move ahead. There might be distance that needs sorting out. There might be, you know, I mean, look at Australia for God's goodness sake. You know, you might have, I, I live in Victoria, I can't go to New South Wales. If I was dating someone in New South Wales or fell in love with someone in New South Wales, I can't even go across the border of my state to, to meet them or interact with them. So, you know, problematic kind of circumstances um, that could be there with um, new love affairs, Venus out of bounds traveling through the sixth house. Uh, there could also be... Uh, not only imbalanced situations with those sorts of things, but imbalanced situations with a new partner and their self-worth or imbalanced situations with a new partner and finances or the amount of love given and received could be very imbalanced in the relationship too. So do be careful, Leo, regarding what you start up with somebody else under this energy. And remember, darling Leos, and I'm saying this because I am one, you're not a sign that copes well with criticism from a partner and this is exactly what this energy might bring you at the lowest level. So forewarned, forearmed. Um, do be careful. This is the this is a house uh, that might compromise your nervous system. You might find that the stress of a relationship or the stress of a certain imbalanced situation might really uh, compromise your nervous system in some way. Um, you might, you know, you might put your foot in your mouth potentially with a loved one or a business partner due to some impulsive reaction um, and, and then that could lead to all sorts of chain reactions that are difficult. Uh, but there can be lots of sudden and fast developments or ups and downs in your social or business or personal relationships that occur too. And women, um, you might find in your sphere, women, whether you're a man or a woman, the women in your sphere might become somewhat rebel rebellious now. There might be more fights with them, more arguments with them, breakups with them, stop start relationships with them, whether they're friendships or love relationships or anything like that. The best scenario for any new friendship with a woman or relationship that occurs and starts under this energy is that you might, um, serve the world together. This is a house of service. So if you want to mitigate all this yucky stuff I've been talking about, then serve. find a way to serve the world together with your new friend or your new lover and the relationship will do better and flourish more. It's the highest manifestation and when it's at that high manifestation, it can be absolutely beautiful. So look for how you can serve the world together. It's an energy where you might attract unusual people who disrupt your life. And they could even be people who end up earning the title of being your enemy. So thanks, Out of Bounds Venus. Do be careful of that. Uh, money can go up and down now. This will be very, it's going to be very tied to your sense of self-worth, 
So it's imperative that you avoid any self-criticism. Now, be very careful of your diet as well, Leo. This is a place where we can indulge uh, in food, particularly sweet foods um, that cause health problems as a form of um, self-soothing. So, you know, if you're prone to grab the, the chocolates and curl up on the couch as a bundle of misery and I'm so sad and I'm eating all my chocolate, um, you know, that's no good. It's not going to help you uh, under this energy. You might be more prone to that. Um, and, and so to avoid these difficulties that I've mentioned, I would be looking to help other women where you can. Be of service to younger women. Be of service to um, pe- women in need in your community, disadvantaged women um, for the duration of this transit. And you will really mitigate a lot of the difficult energies that I've talked about with Venus moving through the sixth house, Leo. All right. Sorry about that. Sometimes we we get the good stuff. Sometimes we get the... And this is unfortunately rather a challenging one. Okay, Virgo rising, sun or moon. The energy of Venus uh, in out of bounds mode moving through Capricorn is falling for you in your fifth house. And so this is good karma in the fifth house. You know, even if this energy is filled with surprises is likely to be the case Um, because this is the house of good karma and Venus is a benefic planet even though she's out of bounds now and giving all sorts of crazy results it can be very beneficial so there is a supreme intelligence and genius that you might experience now with art design beauty and also occult topics because the combination of Venus and Capricorn can lead to um, occult awareness astrological alchemical you know um, shamanistic awarenesses but Supreme intelligence with these things can be experienced. And this is the house of love and Venus is what we love. So the ability to feel love is greatly enhanced for you, Virgos. Now, you might feel a deep love for the whole world now or for other women or for just life in general or love for your hobbies or love for your children can be quite beautiful. You can attract a lot of pleasure into your life now, more glamour, more glitterati, more romance and dating and fun, hurrah. So you might feel, um, you know, taking this to the Venusian out of bounds extreme, you might feel like a bit of a playboy now or a playgirl now and out to flirt and date and just get it on and why not, you know, have fun, have joy. Someone, someone's got to be doing that kind of cool stuff. <laughs> so... If you are a Virgo person who has a lot of fans or a lot of followers, you might receive a lot of love from those people now, a lot of generosity from those people now, even material favors that could come to you from those people now. So you can become also under this energy involved in some sort of unusual romantic relationship or um, it's surprising, it's out of the blue. This is the house, not of, of love affairs, but falling in love. And so you might fall in love unexpectedly with this particular transit of Outer Bounds Venus. It can also be a time for taking financial risks that can make you a fortune. This is a blessed house, a lucky house, and Venus Out of Bounds is like a Venus-Uranus conjunction where sudden windfalls that you know could come your way. Um, you might also get new financial resources. You might get new ideas that you can implement for, for some sort of a, a financial remuneration down the track. So pay attention. There's some good stuff happening there. Um, you can also find that the value of your assets might suddenly skyrocket under this influence as well. And if you work in Venusian fields like the beauty industry, the fashion industry, if you're a beautician, a hairdresser, a fashion designer, then you might get some lucky breaks, you know, like get a top spot on the uh, at the spring fashion week show or something like that. And, and you're given the, the, the number one position and you didn't see it coming and lucky breaks that can occur for you in Venusian fields. Um, again, I've already mentioned sudden exciting love affairs that can come out of nowhere, but also happy times with your female friends. This is a, a, a house of joy and, and pleasure, pleasurable sort of social experiences. And so, you know, you can get out there and do something unusual, electrifying, something fun and um, with your female friends. And it's just going to be something so beautiful and so memorable now under an out of bounds Venus. Venus. What's, what's a Venus? Venus. <laughs> and you can also... It's a very, like I said, this eccentric genius energy. You could break the mold in some realm of design or art or fashion. It could even be that you become famous under this influence as the house of celebrity. And if you're working in Venusian fields, that could absolutely happen for you. It could be that some sort of exciting woman comes into your life 
Um, if you're a man, it might be that she becomes a lover. If if um, or or if you're a woman, she might become a lover too. Um, but it, there will be. It could even be that she's a friend. But she will transform your life in some beautiful way. Um, you will be very magnetic and have a lot of magnetic appeal yourself now, and um, it can bring in. Yeah, as I said, um, sudden loves, but also many partners, many options. Sometimes it's just easier to have one. <laughs> Who wants many options? You just want, I just want one. Anyway, Virgo, that's what we're seeing. The potential of an out of bounds and rather erratic Venus doing things in your fifth house could bring you. Well, thank you one and all for joining me for our ordinary astro weather report this week. I'm going to close with a prayer as I always do. Energy of love. It's crazy times on the planet right now and so we invite in the highest vibration of Venus out of bounds to do stuff in our favor to help bless the world with her beauty, her love, her kindness, her gentleness, her peacefulness, her diplomacy which is so sorely needed. So we ask it to flow in abundance all over the people of this earth that we might um, lift in vibration and restore earth to the beauty that we need to feel again and so it is thanks for joining me one and all i will have another astro weather report for you next week and do not forget jump on my patreon page so that you can access the new eclipse coming up the the, the new moon eclipse that's occurring on the 4th of december i'll catch you then